Imagine a single person embezzling a sum so staggering it equates to 3% of an entire nation's GDP. That's the reality in Vietnam, where real estate tycoon Truong Mai Lan has been found guilty of a financial fraud scheme amounting to $12.5 billion. This mind-boggling crime has left the world reeling and earned Lan the dubious distinction of being at the center of Vietnam's largest corruption scandal to date. This monumental saga started when Lan gained control of Saigon Commercial Bank. Through a series of complex transactions, she siphoned off funds, creating ghost companies and greasing palms along the way. The deception was intricate and vast, with the total damage to the bank reaching a whopping $27 billion. As investigators unraveled Lan's web of deceit, it became clear that she wasn't acting alone. Family members and other accomplices were drawn into the scandal, including former bank executives who have now received life sentences for their part in the scheme. This embezzlement case wasn't just about the money. It was a flagrant violation of trust, a breach of banking rules and a testament to the corrosive power of corruption. The court found Lan guilty on all counts, sentencing her to death, 40 years in prison, and a $27 million compensation order. But this story is far from over. Lan, despite expressing thoughts of suicide during the trial, plans to appeal the verdict. Meanwhile, 85 others are facing related charges, as Vietnam continues its crackdown on corruption. In summary, the Truong Mai Lan case is a stark reminder of the devastating impacts of financial fraud. A single individual managed to embezzle an amount equivalent to 3% of Vietnam's GDP, resulting in the country's largest corruption scandal. The aftermath of this case will continue to unfold, but one thing remains clear. Vietnam is taking a strong stance against corruption, and the consequences are severe. This is a tale of greed and corruption on a scale rarely seen. It serves as a wake-up call to financial institutions worldwide, illustrating the need for stringent checks and balances. The world will be watching as Lan's appeal progresses, and as Vietnam continues its fight against corruption. Remember to stay informed, be vigilant, and always question the status quo. Because as this story shows, even the most seemingly secure systems can fall prey to corruption.